Yeah man, welcome back people. And I don't know how bad that drift I know the one and Z ladder in a vlog number six, part six this. You see me? So in the last vlog me I feel drop it. The, the vlog fast and abrupt because a long time they do not so I just want to get a, a lot of people when I request it for over a long time I mean I tell them say it's just situation beyond my control in which I didn't have the money and everything to continue at the moment so now I start out back and I on my feet again and you see me from the last vlog you see where I left off so right now I deal with the hose um, the piping and I don't know so that drifter do everything from out and yeah, you see me so some pipe me get out of my hand I have me get the hose them with the one ends here right so I cut them up use some pipe as extension to extend it to the radiator and everything like that I use the triple core radiator from the ladder so I may use it's also now I have no overheating problem I may tell you triple core no nothing good them they cool good and I have a draw through fan and a push through fan you see me so I don't go overheat none at all um still I deal with that still and everything so in my last video as I said I didn't do everything I just mount the gearbox and so to put the engineer line up and everything so and um the hydraulic e brake me build the bracket for it now so it's good if they over to see it it's close enough and everything me will have to run back my brake line again bleed it out again and i tell you this is like the sixth time to bleed out the hydraulic e brake every time i fit up here and so i have to pull it back again oh this is the water line then come around there so so I still are dealing with the wiring, the wiring is not fully complete as yet, right? But I still are dealing with the wiring and so right now. So I end up putting under the drive shaft and everything. I now work on right now, I just put it under. And that's the last of it. I just did some welding a while ago. You see the drive shaft gone and I'm just gonna put in the bolt them and one bolt in there already. So I have the other trees them for put on the there. But then if you can see, let me see if I can zoom up. Um, no, you can't see it. I'm gonna have to go down there. Alright, so this is what is going on now. So I found out that there was a slight problem. Um, I did get it to line up with the original mount of the ladder gearbox, right? But as I said, I pushed the ladder um, gearbox half an inch forward, right? Because the one NZ box went up half an inch or a little less than half an inch higher than the ladder box. It sits a little bit higher. So I had to make a new um, transmission mount. If you notice here, see that's where the original mount used to be right here the original mount bracket would have been in the middle so i bring it over a little bit a half an inch more to push it forward right so i weld up that now so that ready box well solid everything solid right drive shaft and everything i changed this rubber because the old one that i had was cracked they call it the 50 cent rubber it's the buffer rubber so when you drop clutch it kind of absorbs some of my shock then they send the rest of the power to the dry shaft. So that's it for now, right? Uh, let me get out back. All right, so as I said, the gas tank is a ladder. Um, the original ladder gas tank, it was over this side, right? I turned it into a fuel cell. So because of how the ladder tank is set and in drifting or any car, if you go around a corner too fast, you have something named inertia, right? It will pull the fluid to one side. So if you're going right, the fluid will go left. That's inertia, right? So to combat inertia, it's not completely combating it, but it's slowing down a little bit. I lean the gas tank like about 15 degrees. So it will combat the inertia. But yeah, it will combat the inertia just a little bit, enough to keep the pump pulling the gas because um i saw a video you know one of the drifters out there not going to call his name one of the drifter was drifting at an event and when he go around the corner the uh, one of the corner here the car die out and, and stutter then he come back in that a gas right the pump 
lose gas a while ago and he drop pressure and everything inject and him never did I get enough pressure and he stutter so I kind of combat it a little bit right with the gas tank lean at 15 degrees so that I help it a lot um that is it for now I'm going to fill out this it's just a little hole and I'm going to build a cap for it because I, um, from, I didn't get my ladder cap on it I didn't get a cap on it so I'm gonna make one so that is actually it for now you know that's the main things that I've done so far right still have a lot more work to do with the wiring and so I'm still dealing with the wiring um, I'm going to do the gauge next so I'm going to do a little testing on the gauge in my kitchen you see me? I'm going to bring it to the drifter science lab everything that drifter tests on you see me yeah how would them man we not play mm -hmm. so that's it try to set up this gauge just to make it work on the ends here right um to a manual gauge a lot you, you don't know a lot of speed sensor work off a uh, thing where you plug in into, into your back here so with spinny you create a magnetic field which take time turn this as the speed increase this girl one you see me so I set up this to make it work on the NZ because a semi semi manual with autom automated newer version I think so most of the things that I can go use I go on to little brake light if I see brake light highlight I go on that um, I don't use no fuel no water then I have a gauge for this I can use a light beam and charge for you know when um, the thing charge right and I go use this I have my rev gauge so right now I try deal with this right my temperature um, sensor and temperature switch so this is how we make it work people put in some boiling water switch it up already so when it get hot the highlight is supposed to come in see there it get hot highlight coming because the water boiling at the moment and let me put this up now some cold water in it once the temperature drop see the highlight still in there you see the highlight put it on in there after a while once you cool the highlight I can see there so we know so this sensor working right it's temperature sensor working and that is a lot of temperature sensor that I'm going to use for the one in to make it work so that's what I think so, so I'm going to my course right now so I'm going to take time start to electrical part time so this is gauge how I'm going to make the gauge working right? so I'm going to continue to make a conversion so this is just the science part there you see me and that drift of lab on in and right now, you know. Yeah, man, I saw me do my little testing now, so with my stove and all of them little things there eh, to get my things them up and running. I would them, man, they not play this year. And this is what I use as my switchboard, right? So I turn it in on the switchboard. I use it because you have it done, you have a ladder sign, and you have to stick to your ladder. So I put it right here and use it as the switchboard, the main switchboard for ignition switch, pump switch and just the entire current for your car I run through this board so I always run that I finish up the piping just deal with the piping panny and thing so it's well ready you now it's well cool up and everything mm -hmm. so that's how you think say. I don't know kill it down in any place you know you see me? Go make a link same way, the bad starlet. Yeah, so that's how thing set, man. Mm -hmm. So, anything left for me to deal with right now is to just run a pump relay for the fuel pump, run a line go straight through back up our front um, and get feed power and the negative. Run out pick up a relay of them for the um, headlight and the fan relay. And I just run that here ready. Oh, I may have one more thing left to do. The clutch slave. I have to be the clutch slave. See? Release the clutch. So I just run that the car ready for drive. And that's it for now. Wiring, we're supposed to wire in the gauge. Um wire in the gauge and now put in the gearbox aisle inside that the gearbox. Um the last time when me get the gearbox and me check out the aisle and all of them something the aisle was so, so dirty you come in like <laughs> you have a thickness when you mix mud and water thick cementish look so me end up pull off the face of the box since me not dealing with bellows pull off the face of the box and 
use purple blast to clean out the inside, right? Ensure that I don't damage the seal them or nothing. And I saw the thing set now, so I'm going to fill it up with new, brand new oil. So if I have to, it, oh, you fill up that now, you have to pull this. Entire part of this, I have to pull and take off. So. Alright people, so we still I do electrical work and thing. We reach far. So you don't know so my switchboard yeah. Everything there. This I start on Oh you see me? So I saw the thing set. So me there I test out sound really and thing. This is a replacement of your brain and go, right? Temporary, because I kind of have nowhere else to put it. You know, it makes no sense to put it on a nice seat like how the majority of people do it. Right? If you remember the last time the wire, the wire in there grew and wipe a wire, I try to neat up as possible, as neat as I can to do it, as I say, I may do the wire works and so. Wiring is not my number one thing, you see me? You see building, I mean that. If you build anything, machine anything, I mean that. You see wire works and something that's so hot funny. But believe it or not, electrical, I want me to do a school. And a mechanical, I do a school. So I have a little um, know how or relay really work or switch work. You have all, all effects switch and all of them switch. I know them. You see me? I know sensors work. So I can do a little wiring, right? And me wire my brain and everything. Once you know a pin out them, you can you see me and you just follow the wire them green with the red dot for if you inject all of them. So you just follow it to my brain. You see me, once you know a pin out, you know say injector figure E24, you just put the green wire in there. And that's it, you see me, and not really nothing hard. As me say, once you have a little know how you can do it, so that me I do now. Me wire up the engine already and so so me I kinda neat up back the wiring and so I mean just do it for start the engine, you see me? So now me I neat it up back and me I make me like a switchboard and so so me can just press that start the, the car, me ignition, me ignition switch and all of them little things. So me I deal with the relay them, you know. So I'll show you how I go on the relay. Really I want I think where people hate you know man because they they're difficult, you see? Cause yeah, they use on wipe positive and negative and all of things in there and a different different five some of them have five pin out some have four pin out some even have three as i said i'm confusing to many people but i'm sure now one thing or me test me thing and go on and go through you see me so let's watch out there now all right so see where you go you know so add this this are really i want five pin really i mean i tell you say if you don't know where you do you know work but true as I say I do electric at school, I know one and two things and I can do my little wiring and things. So I am show you so also go. Um you have one wire where I switch wire. You see me? You have 30. 30 are straight positive from battery where you can put your fuse in. Uh, and you have 86 where I switch wire. And you have 85 where I grounds and 87 where the current, the high voltage, high amperage current go through. You see me? So this is how it's supposed to go. As I said, 86 are switch. You just give the switch really like power. Because here, so you would have used, you would have each of the switch. True. And I'm going to look at this study. So I can test. Oh, I'm going to get the impact. Alright. So I'm supposed to get. See it then. So I see him for someone really here. You see me? But I tell you, if you don't know what you do, it can't work. Cause when me just start them in school, me I tell us I want problem. Me say, me hate relay. But as me take time get free understanding, we can't even wire them. Cause you not have to use it positive. You can't make it grounds be the switch. You see me? I me learn how we can wire through grounds and we can wire through positive. So I just say things set man. You see me? I just another part of the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I say things set man. So as me say, me still a continue up the wire works and thing. So, that's how I go on. Enough work. Wire work take one wipe off. <laughs> if <laughs> wire work take enough brain and sit, man, it's more stressing the uh, liquid mechanical work where you can just do this and do that. You see me? But I saw things that I still have got you, man. So, as I said, I promise to me I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it driving at this video, yeah. Because as I say, you have enough more work for if you do. But I promise to me I'm going to at least start and make it run for a little while. So, I saw things that. Paper.
a full time for your car start you now. So I don't know if the wiring works and so I deal with my switchboard and so. You know if you hear your pump, you hear that? You see me? A dad drifter do that man. You see me pump loud and thing. So this is a little battery gate so I know I'll go and see if it has charge and everything. So I saw it inside you now. Go on, what do you know? Focus on us. This side switch. So this is how I go on. I just 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 bleed out the clutch slave C bracket down and build key so well ready. I'm going go on that car in a little while for sure you are going. Um we deal with everything. So right now the car 100 radiator of water and everything, radiator just as I'm ready. And see me wire up a two fan them, 240 I'm fun. Car can't over it, me say. Even Jesus say okay, you can't over here. I'm not joking, thing, you know, man. A serious thing, this. Car well mount up. You see me? No one joke, engine no rock. So you know so all that power go to your back wheel. And a joke thing, this one. Mm -hmm. As me say, me, I'm going to deal with the brake cars, the hydraulic e brake. Um, so me have to pull the line and so you won't bleed. But just it you and me alone, it's kind of hard. We do it, so I'm just a wait for somebody if you can help me out. Um, me maybe I met my cousin or my auntie, whoever they close by to deal with it. So I'm done with the electrical wiring, right? We do it as neat as we can. And I say I'm not a pro electrician, but I know if you do what I do, you see me? So, the car ready, wire up, alternator wire up, fan the panning really, fan come in when it's supposed to come in once water get hot. Everything ready. Alright. The Nissan gauge I you know. This is a B12 Nissan gauge when I put for work on the engine, the Yaris engine. He went in Z. So what me do, I don't really need not much. As I tell you know, I need oil. This is for brake fluid when your brake fluid low, you see me? We are gonna need this just in case. I don't really matter, but we can just do it for extra -ness. Indicator, yes, I'm gonna need those. Um a beam for when you light up on bright. Right? And a charge light for see. If your battery not charge, right? So I attach the charge light already on the eye light, right? I don't really need this. I don't have no headlight yet. I don't do the headlight. Um, I don't do the headlight wiring as it. Cause that's what I do with the brake light them. The brake light them. So I uh, that's what I go on. So turn it on if you see. Show the kind of pale. But see the eye light come on once ignition on. I already start it. And the eye light go off, that means it's switch our work and everything. See, so the charge light, charge light are on until I start it, then it's gone. So, I saw it so to set. Um, everything good you now so far, so clutch ready. Clutch ready. Alright? Everything ready. I just the brake, so you're ready for drive. But the thing is, it's just a test drive. I mean, I'm going to do no hard, no hard driving, no extra drifting and try to grow nothing hard or nothing like that. It's just a test drive for intro, so everything, we just want to warm up the engine, maybe change out to third and come back down. The road not too long, so maybe a third at most we can go. Hot up the engine, make it cool down, make it run for maybe one half an hour or so. See, everything I'll go as planned. Um, we should have a diagnostic port, but I don't have a diagnostic port on it. I'm going to have to get that started out. But I want to do this one, run a little test to see if everything good. What kind of code I get. I'm supposed to not, I don't have no auto on it. I'm not sure which auto. If you buy the wrong auto, you make the car shut up bad. You see me? Because every auto has then different, um, different numbers and figure with certain engines and all of them or something. So, it's just so you think set. I may mean, go tell you which specific auto sensor you have to use. But unfortunately, we never get one with this, um, with the manifold or none. The brother not, not even know which one you go on it to, because he doesn't know nothing about it. So, I saw you think set. So, I may go either have to go through, because if you go um, use the OBD to scan your source, you can tell you which auto sensor. 
um, your thing have or did use or something like that. Supposed to, not sure, but it's supposed to. Right, so me are gonna need for daily the OVD24. So we can me pin out for even attach gauge and get like a reading to see what go on with the engine, why it do, what kind of error code man it So while we say no hard driving now, do. the car is right now completely finished at the moment. You're ready for drive right now. The only thing when I stop is the clutch and we just start out the clutch it a bite right now. now Alright, I say you get it, you buy it there, right? So and we can go right down for completely depressing. Yeah, right. So, I saw a thing said. I 